Hi. Welcome to Side Dish. It's me, Doug. Um, so I didn't get it done. I did not get any episodes done. But I am going to uh, have access to the internet. I think I'm going to go through and find some moments. In, we I do a few YouTube shorts uh, that are like a minute or whatever. And um, I have some, I want to get like the, at least the craziness of the uh, double day conversation uh, going. <laughs> And um, but oh, uh, top of the out, uh, top of the show correction. Uh, if you got the text message about this that I sent out, uh, it said uh, Mexican cuisine, and this is uh, El Salvador, I believe, uh, Peruvian, Peruvian, and or Ecuadorian. Yeah, I can't remember. It's, it's from it's from South America. I think it's Peruvian, and it's uh, their most famous quote unquote dish, I believe. So. Um, Peruvian. There we go. Anyways, how are you? We're going to make ceviche tonight. So, and we're going to have palomas because they're delicious. <laughs> I've decided I'm just going to drink tequila from now on. I like the, the brown liquors are good and I will drink it. I will drink them. But I really like tequila. So, uh, hi, Pink. And it's, this is kind of a real simple dish. This nice part about it is it's some, some chopping, some marinating, and then some more mixing and then in the, the refrigerator. We've got some time to do that. So the first thing we need to do is we got these shrimpers. I got one pound. These are wild shrimps. I had to de-vein and de-poop them myself. So I know they're extra clean. And um, we're going to do a little choppy chop on this. Just, you want to kind of, you don't, I want some chunks in here, so I want to just like kind of, um, yeah. By the way, I'm Doug and Denise and Amy are here, if you don't know that, so hi. Um, we're T minus, what, <coughs> 48, less 36 than 46 hours. 36 hours from vacation. Um, we go from here. We to Denver, pick up our good friend Leonard and Michelle. Not literally. I mean, we pick him up as we, he goes with us. And then we're on our way to Florida. Florida. That's a dystopian nightmare. If you live in Florida, I'm sorry. But, anyways. So that's, and then we are on a boat Friday. No, Saturday morning, right? Saturday morning at 11. Yep. And then I was trying, to, I've been trying to figure Excuse it out. Me. So when we get back for the first week, we're back in Fort Lauderdale. And then we don't get off the boat at all, right? We just go to a special lounge if we get it. Actually, home. we do have to get off. Oh, and we yes. walk down and we get back on. Okay. On a different entrance, apparently. Never, never mind. No boo hiss. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I wish you guys could experience cruise dive. It's how I want to, it's literally how I want to live my life. It's the best. Uh, no worries. That's uh, Hakuna Matata, I believe it is, in uh, The Lion King. So, I uh, have been really, really busy this week at work, trying to get like prep for this vacation because it's two weeks. I hate getting my new hire up to, up to speed and they are coming along quite nicely, and so uh, played D&D &D last night. That was super fun. Really, really gave it to the party, but they uh, had, survived. They, they survived and had fun, they said, so I guess that's... And the hair of their chinny-chin-chins. Yeah. I've been uh, working on these encounters for a while, because we had to take a break from October, end of October until last week, and so now that we're back up and running, it's... Really fun. And one of the characters was uh, literally two hit points away from death, full death, because we were they were dealing with necrotic damage. Anyways, this is nerd talk. Um, welcome. And anyways, he was he said afterwards that he was like, "I'm really attached to this character. I don't I don't want to lose him." And I was like, "Well, death is not always permanent in D and D." So, all right. So I got this big old. Actually, you know what? We're going to do it in this, and then we'll put the vegetables in there. I think it'll fit, don't you think? Yeah, it'll fit. It's going to be fine. The dish this will go be between the cracks. This will probably work. This will probably work. Um, so we've been thinking about, like, 
we were looking at our Ben Book in Prudence and Side Dish logo. Well, I think we're going to make some, we're going to try and make some stickers. That is what I'm looking forward to. Uh, one cup, so I would have half a cup of this left. This is lime juice, freshly squeezed. And so this is doing, you know, this is basically it. The acid is going to cook this. Make sure that you get this completely submerged. And now this is going to go into your refrigerator. Sorry, stately hamster. That's, that's. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. That's where the uh, mutedness of the refrigerator sort of made it sound. They're fine. <laughs> They're just. Um, anyways, now you got to chop all these vegetables. So there's red onion, tomatoes, cucumbers, bell pepper, and cilantro. It's pretty straightforward. And jalapeno if you want. So we're going to use half of a jalapeno to give it a little. Um, we only need. Yeah, oh god, lime is really one of the best. It's so good. I like, I mean, we were, uh, Denise was making a comment as we were juicing the 14 limes to get the lime juice we needed for this evening that we really should invest in one of those Jamba Juice level juicers. And I was like, that might be a little bit higher of a thing than we need. So I'm gonna, I need half a cup of a cucumber and I'm gonna take the skin off. I'm gonna take its face. I mean, how crazy is that in the world that um, a movie, somebody was like, you know what we should do, Hollywood? We're going to make a movie where we have Nicolas Cage and John Travolta, and it's good, we're going to call it Face Off. And they're, and, oh, they're going to face off against each other? Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> but they're literally just going to, they're going to take their faces off. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're going to have to explain this a little bit more. <laughs> And, and, you know, somehow it works. I mean, you get John Woo in there, you get a bunch of flying doves, you get uh, Nicholas Cage trying to do his best John Travolta impression, and John Travolta trying to do his best Nicholas Cage impression, and what do you got? Movie magic. <laughs> it's so crazy. That, I think about that movie sometimes when we're, <laughs> I'm going through Plex and I see it, and I'm like... This, this it's is one of my faves. Yeah, it is, but it's like this is a moment that, like, so preposterous. Yeah, it is crazy. I love the part where he says, No more drugs for that man, right? <laughs> I want to take his face off, and I am a big fan of the uh, where they say the name of the movie in the movie. There's a joke on, I think it's one of the funnier jokes that comes out of Family Guy, but it's Peter is in the theater, and they say a name of it. He just goes, ha ha! And every time that happens, I try to do it. It's so great. I love it. So I'm doing these in, I'm going to do these in, uh, I don't know. We'll see what this turns out to be, and I'll match the rest. The only thing that's going to be more finely diced is the red onion. I have not packed. Have you, Amy? No, and I'm trying to, and it's very overwhelming. I know what I'm. I know what I'm packing. I have. I have a whole shelf that's in the closet that's literally just linen pants and, and linen shirts, and I'm just going to pack all of that up. And this preposterous uh, shorts and uh, you didn't wear it last time. Yeah, I did. I wore it once. I did. I wore that. You did. Yeah. Oh. So. Um, I was talking to Krista today about packing and she was like, yeah, I'm just the worst packer. Like I want to pack everything. So I'm like, yeah, I'll probably wear this prom dress to dinner one night. <laughs> I'm like, yes, exactly. It's hard. I packed everything somewhere I own. <laughs> well, uh, again, you get to, you can choose whatever you want out of it. So it's fine. We're going to be real liberal with what our <laughs> measurements are on these. Because again, it's vegetables. It's all coming together. So, Where uh, are Aaron and Sandra going? How come they haven't packed yet? I don't know. Where, Where are you going? You guys didn't, did you tell me Saturday? But I don't remember. You probably told me, but I don't remember. I'm a terrible friend. I also had... So you're putting these veggies in a different bowl? Yes, because what happens, I want to have enough room when it comes out to mix everything and 
and then it can it's all going to live together. So you can. It doesn't specify the. the I mean, I get went with the red because I I want the the tartness and I want a little bit of the sweetness that the red brings. Um, but yeah, so it doesn't specify a color. But some recipes do. No, I thought you wanted that color. I also want, I do want that color. So yes. So lovely. What is this? This house has been insane. We had to have last. Uh, what was it Sunday? So Denise brought guests and Woody over because they she, they Ooh, had to, Hawaii. Nice. Oh, nice. They had to meet the um, house sitter because they're all going to be staying here. So this is the chaos that will happen over the next two weeks if this house will work out. Five dogs, four cats. Three children. Three children. Well, two kids, yeah. a young adult, and an adult. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, that's not. That's not I'm looking good. forward to our sleepover tomorrow. Did you know we're having a sleepover? Yeah, Denise is coming over. And so is Andrea. Everybody's sleeping here. I, I didn't know that. Yeah. So we're all taking it over together? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Did you right. schedule them already? No, but I can. It's early in the morning. You should schedule. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'll get one. We we look when we went before we had to, everywhere we went we had to get the XL and I actually just in some cases just not the XL luxury because it was like four dollars more and I was like yeah I want to roll up. It likes to roll in style. I want to roll up that cruise ship in a gigantic Escalade. Oh, come on. You don't want that. Don't eat that. Um, ladies, do you, do you guys ever, do you guys make ceviche uh, out there in viewership land? Uh, I don't, I think I made it one time a hundred years ago. It, it feels was like. before Amy, because I've never eaten ceviche in my life. Yeah. Um, and I, I had to assure Amy because this is, you know, this is the, this is a shrimp only. So I'm still going to have a hard time doing it. I gotta tell you. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be great. I can, I can already tell you. Um, you like you like salsa. You like shrimp. The shrimp will be cooked by the okay. acid. Okay. So you keep saying. I know, and it's true. Um. Yeah, I know it did, Denise. Believe me, I, I also saw that. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, there's all kinds of different species. There's the there's the one that has a baby octopus in it and that kind of stuff. But you know, I don't. I ain't down with that. I mean, I don't, I don't think, think we should eat cephalopods. I mean. And no, I'm gonna stop eating octopus. It's yeah, especially octopus because you know, can't. they're very smart. They can open jars, yeah. and they have you know, they're crazy. I uh, I, I when I was making this up, I was like, that's a dip, that's a that's a good cocktail. It goes, you know, that is like a goes with this, and I was like, ooh, you can have a paloma, fantastic. A paloma. So. It is. And I, you know, we got the drink package on the boat, so I can drink Palomas the entire two weeks. And I'm very excited about that. So uh, I went to Sandor, uh, uh, got his brown belt in jujitsu, so congrats to Sandor. That's really impressive. It really is. Um, you know, I'm very, very uh, proud of his achievement because, you know, me too. People don't have to, you know, not a lot of people stuck stick with it. Up. Yeah. So, but I was, he, while well, Amy was out of town on Saturday, they, uh, he and Aaron invited me to go to this place called the Mellow Fellow. Because Amy was out of town. So that is not it. <laughs> this, the first Saturday, we, I, did I been here and somebody else hasn't, and we not had the show. So we, Okay, you can believe what you like. Um, and then I'm, so this is a one cup. I'm just going to cut all these tomatoes up. It's going to be all going to work out. So don't worry out there. Nobody panic. 
this just I wanted I was like I want to get a jump start on vacation and this seems like one of those things that's like uh, yep yeah, I feel the vibe and I appreciate it I'm so I'm so so I'm so ready when's the last time we took a I mean it was last year and then we went to Portland that was it Portland is the last trip we took I know that's what I'm saying so oh, that's way too long that's silly yeah you and I were it's true. And I did just go to, I went to Chicago and Boston. But that was before we went to Portland. Yeah. It's the last trip to Portland. And I went to San Francisco last week, but that was, um, I was, I was working the whole time. Except for when I was not. <laughs> Except for when I was not. I hit it two for two, by the way, on finding places to eat. Oh, yeah? At a great steakhouse in San Francisco. Nice. Called John's, established in 1908. Um, you- didn't I send you pictures of the uh, yeah. Falcon? Yeah. What is it? The Maltese Falcon. Maltese Falcon, yeah. Um, that. Yeah, and then um, I your- found a good taqueria, too. When is your girl's trip to wine country? May. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. It, what, that's like the sixteenth. May. No. Oh. Okay. Well. Okay. Thank you. That could bring something. What? Nothing. It's a surprise. I just need to make sure. It was I just I had, had to make sure that she wasn't that already going to be where I think we were going to go. That's what Omega having something. The Era party is back. Yes. And we get to go since we buy Era every year. Heck yeah. You get to, this is the one time a year that we get, that like when they do it, we've only been one time and we're fools. We've been told. When is that? Uh, April 29th, the weekend of 29th. And is it the same weekend? No. Oh. <laughs> I was like, that'd be just my luck. Wouldn't it? Well, you could go. You as a, you as a wine club member could go because you're on the account. Uh, the rest of them would have to pay two twenty five a person to go. But we get to go as, because we're 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 on. fancy. And I'm going to bring up. Oh gosh, that's awesome. We're going to be there. It's actually the last week, or the second to last weekend in April, Denise. Oh, that you guys are going. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It's the twenty first through the twenty third. So we'll. <laughs> so then I'll just turn around and go right back. Yeah. Perfect. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> Jenny, if you're watching. <laughs> oh, wait. What does this say? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Never mind. Uh, we're going to be in Sacramento the weekend before that. That's true. Yes. Then we go to wine country. And then you're right, Denise. It is Mother's Day weekend. Oh, that's probably what you wanted. Sacramento. You are right. Uh, okay, I'm, like I said, I'm only going to use half of this. Um, let's see, what's the best way to do this? If you wanted it, if you wanted it caliente, muy caliente, you could use both, or use a hob or a habanero. Mm. No, they, I got this this uh, habanero. Um, what is it? What is that stuff I bought? Hot sauce, and it's it's actually really good. It's not too spicy. It's kind of uh, kind of good. So. Oh, hey! If you, uh, you if you haven't started your uh, tomatoes and peppers seeds, get on it because um, it's time to do so. You can also, if, if the ground gets above forty degrees. Fahrenheit in your area and it stays warm, uh, probably more like 45 to 50, then you can uh, start to plant like your peas and your brassicas, like broccoli and cabbage and stuff, out into the garden. So, just a heads up. This was a mess. I saw, I want to plant hollyhocks. Yeah, more, I got, I got, okay. And I saw you have grapes. I do. Very excited about that. Yep, I gotta get. I gotta build some 
in-ground trellises to train them so that they are actually look like graves. Sandra said you laid it on real thick on screen, and that's why they felt sorry for you, and they divided you because you're going to be all alone. And you were, like, singing, all by myself. And he knew you would just eat sandwiches and cereal all weekend, so he had to save you. I mean, it's not. I mean, I might be reading a little bit into this. Well, also, that's what I think. So let, let, let's talk about sandwiches and cereals for a minute. Because during winter break, left to our devices because of the snow and all of this, Amy, what did we have for dinner on more than one occasion? Cereal. Right. And what else did we have on more than one occasion for dinner? Sandwiches. I felt like I ate a lot of nachos. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? Which is just chips. With cheese on it. <laughs> that is 100%. Uh, you know what? Thing? I, the older I have gotten, the less sensitive I am to like spicy That's food. how it is. Because your taste buds start dying. Off. Yeah, well. That's why I got to... I gotta, you need more. Zhuzh it up. So I only need half of this. A half cup of this onion. So I'm going to just do half of it. Even Andrea, who used to think ketchup was spicy, now can tolerate a little bit of heat. Ketchup is spicy. That, you know what? They make fun of that white people think that mayo is spicy, and Andrea is the epitome of that. Remember that thing where I read and it was like, uh, black people, ask white people anything you want, but um, yeah. like, you know, be nice about it. And one of them was like, why did you conquer the whole world for spices and then never use them? <laughs> yeah, it's <was> pretty funny. <laughs> That's true. Not this guy. I uh, on the Discord server for Reddit, one of they were uh, one of the guys. Uh, I well, one of the finish sentence, I should say. I don't know, if there man, you go. man or woman, but they. Um, Look uh, at they you learning. Specifically asked me. Uh, they said they print three D printed these uh, for their backpack for backpacking. These salt like sp seven spice things that you can put in there, right? And they said to me. They asked, what What if I had to choose seven spices, what would I choose? Only seven spices? Only. And so I said, I gave them two answers. It, do salt and pepper count? Yes. No. Yes. Salt, pepper. So really five. Yeah. Okay. Salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika. I put, I think I put cumin. Yeah. That's part of them. No, it's like Cinnamon? Salt, pepper. I think it was seven. I wouldn't do onion powder and garlic powder because you can you can have garlic and onion relatively easily. I guess that's true. I would do cardamom. Oh yeah, that's so good. Cinnamon, salt, pepper, and what what did you do? Cumin. Well, yeah, cumin. So then then the conversation turned to well, if you could. So I said okay, but if you can do spice blends. Because it's just a container, right? So if you can blend your own, I was like, Italian seasoning, uh, like um, Mexican seasoning, like all that. Gar masala I put on there, which is a spice mix, uh, Indian spice mix that goes into butter chicken and other stuff. Um, I, I like that French. Herbs like de Provence. Yes, Herbs de Provence. Yep. I had, uh, there was a couple other, um, oh, I would like, oh. No, my last one for the individual spices, Old Bay. Oh, well, that's really a spice blend. Yeah, but I love me some Old Bay. You chose Old Bay? I did. You were like, because my wife will be living with me, and so she needs her Old Bay. Well, not only that, but I was like, <laughs> it does add. It's very multi-purpose. It is, it is. And like, you know, I was I was like, yeah, hey, I'm going to do the day. But no, I'm a convert. Con con convert. There you go. So... Oh, uh, oh, you know, uh, Denise got me that keychain where you can put your Old Bay in it. Yes. Like, it's Old Bay for one. You better pack that. I can take it on the cruise ship and fix up our meals if they're not good. <laughs> I doubt that. You know this fancy ass meal needs some Old Bay. Excuse me. Let me get out my bright yellow container of Old Bay. <laughs> you know what you should do? I, I, I've never done this before. I, I we, You know, we have a Twitter account, outside Dish Cookie. I should get on there and tweet at celebrity cruises that, you know, like, 
Your wife is bringing a whole bed. No, that we're coming on board. <laughs> Come side dishes coming on board. Any 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 favorite side dishes that we can see and uh, see what they say. We can do that tour. We didn't do it last time. What, what, back behind the scenes? A, yeah, behind the scenes tour. Yeah, but I'm gonna. I can't believe you didn't do it. I thought that'd be like right up your alley. I don't know why I didn't do it. I think Chris got <laughs> kicked in and he was like. No worries, man. <laughs> it is true. I turned into a wholly different person. Retirement is going to be suit me just fine. Oh, Lord. It's not coming fast enough. Well, listen, if people would get on this, and we got, oh, we picked up a subscriber. First, we didn't get one in February, but we got one in March. So, <laughs> it's always good. Oh. It's burning me. Oh, it's burning me. You know somebody named Pretty Boy Caulfield? No, they're saying hello to you. I don't. Hi, Pretty Boy Caulfield. How are you? Uh, one cup cilantro. They're probably they're on from they're uh they're from what are you making there? From Twitch. Uh, we're Sammy making ceviche. How are you this evening? Welcome to the show. We're we're live streaming to Twitch, YouTube, and uh, Facebook at the moment, so. Say hi to everybody. It for me, it is seven twenty six PM on March fifteenth. You never know where people are. Yeah. So I've been rewatching the Nero Wolf series and um, you know, Nero Wolf was a big foodie in the book series. Yeah. And his chef's name was Fritz. And um, it's very funny to watch the scenes with the food and also Nero Wolf is always asking Archie did you eat because he's always very concerned that Archie hasn't eaten anything and therefore his brain won't work I am not a chef I am I work in the IT field I'm just a home chef enthusiast how about you do you uh you, you just watch me Andrea I'm bringing my whole thing you, you do a lot of cooking does it I mean I, I guess I've never asked that before nice teapot Thanks. Whereabouts are you, friend? We, uh, I don't think, I, you know. You know what? Oh, I threw Amy for a loop. Was it this week? Last week. When I, I came home from work and I said, what are you making me for dinner? And she was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so I made him. What did I make you? <laughs> she made chicken. She, you know, I, I basically I, made a hamburger helper. Yeah. Why is there a disembodied woman's voice? <laughs> because we're, that's my wife behind the camera. Uh oh. Why are you off the camera? Because I'm picking up uh, the picking up the shrimp. How did they look? Are they cooked? I want to show you what they look like. They All cook. the way through. Yeah. No glossy. No, they're good. Chew it. You chew it. Going back. Yeah. Good texture? Yeah. All right. Okay. We need, to, we need to drain. We need to keep a quarter cup of this. We're going to probably keep more than that, but. What's this movie you're doing? <laughs> I like it. I'm insane. It's awkward. Yeah, it is awkward. Okay. So, drain the shrimp, revert the large row. Bowl combined in the reserve lime juice. And I'm going to do a little bit more just because. <laughs> I mean, she's she's a woman. So, I mean, she is a lucky man woman, I guess. I don't know if it's <laughs> in the parlance of. So, I'm just going to straighten this out. Mm. So, Sorry, I didn't track. A, I did now. That's okay. Everything goes in the pool here, and then we're gonna mix. But the, the, so this is, the, I'll show you because we put extra stuff in here. Obviously, um, it's you might need a little bit more of the lemon juice to sort of break lime it juice. Down. That's what I said, lime juice. But this will, as anything, salsa or even guacamole or anything that mixes you. This is going to benefit from like tomorrow. It's gonna be fire. I can tell you. So, and it, and any the the lemon or lime juice is gonna help break down the the stuff inside of it as well. So, 
You're looking at love bug. I'm wondering why you're mixing it with that silly little spoon. Because I don't didn't want to try and dirty another one. Oh come on now. We all know that's not true. But I didn't want. I want you to taste it. Well, also keep in mind, I'm not putting it all never. Well, you need to taste before you season. Cucumber. Yeah, there we go. I think there's I no it. tomato in there. Yeah, there's a cup of it. Did I watch you? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. I what am so. I doing? I'm not really sure. <laughs> you're you're <laughs> dreaming. You're dreaming about being on a cruise. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, you got some salsa. You got some. Salsa. There you go. And you definitely need salt. Okay. So. Whoa, that was a lot. Oh my god. It's not. You're so it is not crazy with the coarse. salt. It's not for salt, so it's not as much. Get it together. Man. You get it together. I saw you sneak in, Cap. <laughs> oh, so this is sitting and hanging out while you make the cocktail? Yeah, yeah so, so that's, that's the next lemons. part. Yeah. That's something we need to do tonight is clean out our... Uh, Fridge? Ooh. Yeah. It is. I, I believe me. It's been lingering in the back of my head, but tonight is our garbage night. We the trash out, so... All right, one more time before it goes in the refrigerator here. Mm -hmm. still got chips. Don't buy Tostitos scoops from Grocery Outlet because they get the bags of all the chips that missed the scooper machine. <laughs> and so they're just flat. Which, I mean, they still work, but they don't yeah. scoop. Oh. What happened? You bet you something? I got my cheek. Mm. Now you're putting that in the fridge? Yeah. Good luck. Oh, you found room. Good job. All right, let's, let's have, have a cocktail, cocktail, everybody. Yeah, let's. Where are we at? I'm looking at her. I didn't have this right there. Nice and handy. We'll be at sea level. It's going to be awesome. Okay. So this is pretty easy. We've made one of these before, but let's, let's do it. <clears throat> Two ounces of uh, tequila. Oh, every time, every time you use that thing, I am reminded that I need to clean out the bar cabinet and get rid of the things you do not use. You should have some, a little bit of redundancy. So what if we, what stuff on breaks? Try a new one. Okay, fresh lime juice. No redundancy, honey. Half ounce. No redundancy? It's like antithesis to what I think. I always have a redundancy. I know, but we got we to gotta start our Swedish death cleaning now. I'm just going to give it all away to charity at the end. We got to sell it on eBay. We got to sell it on eBay. Right? Holy shpamoly. This is a uh, this is just grapefruit juice, organic, and simple syrup. Andrea, if you're still watching, it's costing my friends five thousand dollars plus to get each pet to Australia. So think wisely. <laughs> Because we're nice. going to be down to two. Glass. Shake vigorously. Uh, and the two we were going to be left over now in the face off. Now, look at that color. Get me right now. Blood soda. Whoa, no pets. Check. 
Yeah, it's crazy. It's so good. <laughs> I don't have a mixer, so you're going to have to... What do you mean you don't have a mixer? I don't have my spoon. What did... <laughs> so what just happened? <laughs> you? <Yeah. clears throat> there you are, my love. Beautiful. Thank you. We should talk. What, what is some of the excursion? What do you think about that? Uh, we are... Taste that, um, taste the grapefruit juice separately. Oh, sure. No, it's not bad. It's just not very strong, is it? I mean, it's only one ounce to two. I mean, and then it gets kind of diluted. Did you put a little floater on there? Yeah, more. Maybe you want to get two ounces. Yeah, I'll, I'll I would on yours, yeah. Maybe yeah, two ounces. So, our excursion? Yeah. Uh, we're going to go home. Key West, we're just going to walk around. And shop and drink and um, eat. Oh, yeah, and that's when I'm getting my, that's when I'm getting my uh, body painting done. Baby dog. <laughs> and I'm going to get the coat. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta sit down. <laughs> it's not prepared for that, everybody. And then we're doing Mayan ruins. <laughs> Mayan ruins. Yeah, last time I did ruins, it was so hot. We do a jeep adventure where they drive us around, and then we go and swim around. Oh my god, this is gonna be so fun. And as long as we don't end up on that beach uh, where you get really old. Old? Man, that movie messed me up. I think the thing <laughs> Andrea says, I missed something. Body painting? Yeah, Andrea. Denise is going to have her torso painted as a toad. I'm going to be droopy dog. What are you gonna I'll be? let you use your imagination. What are you going to do? I don't know what's happening, everybody, but I'm not excited. I'm not party to it. can be fun. Okay. Says you. So I got to tell you something. This is funny. I was talking to a coworker. We were talking about tattoos. He has quite a few tattoos. And one of our other coworkers was asking him about the artist, blah, blah, blah. And I said, and uh, I said, oh, yeah, I, I'm thinking about getting a tattoo. I showed him the design and I was like, oh, yeah, do you have any others? And I said, no, he's like, yeah, you can go for the neck. I was like, come on, you know, I'm not going to do that. But he was like kind of trying to give me a little shit. And then I was like, you know, I just uh, I just got my, ear, my nose pierced. That was like my uh, my midlife crisis. And he was like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I did it myself. And then his whole attitude changed. He was like, that's badass. You did that yourself. I'm like, mm -hmm. yes, I did. Damn it. So don't give me any shit about neck tattoos. Uh-oh. What happened? No, it's probably just gas well, from the. I'll tell you what. So <laughs> the dogs got worms. And they smell really bad. They have, well, one of them. Might have um, Giardia. But they're taking From Missouri. They're taking a dewormer. I mean. Giardia is what they always tell you not to drink, like okay. the stream water and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. I am going to drink so many of those. They're so good. Anyways, uh, dewormer gives your dog uh, great really bad guess. Right. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, I, I've done several checks around my house. To... Yeah, well, oof. all right. So you should definitely make these things at home. I mean, look what we did. I mean, that's it. They're very simple. Yeah, and I mean, 
if you want, well, this, this is, is a good restaurant. restaurant. Like if you uh, if you live on the ocean, you can get fresh shrimp. Oh, I thought we were talking about Palomas. We are. I'm good at that. <laughs> get get fresh shrimp or throw you in, you know, or um, and if, if you, you want, want it, you can have other seafood. seafood. You could use whitefish in this. Um, they make they, there's a variation from Alaska called Alaskan ceviche, which they put in like halibut and, and cod and stuff that's fresh caught. That would be really good. Uh, crab, I think it'd be awesome. So we don't. I mean, we, we get, get fre- we get pretty fresh fish here. I think I mentioned this before because of the casinos here in Reno, and they bring it in for sushi and stuff. So we benefit by having really good fish. Um, should we look at this and see what it looks like? Do it. We know it's going to taste better later. But. I mean, you already ate it, so. Well. And you said it was good. Yeah, Jeez, melt. Louise, why can't I track you to save my soul today? Because you're, you're worried about. You're worried. You're worried. There we go. I am on cruise mode. Now you're going to watch me use the smallest spoon to get this. Uh, are you singing my song? <laughs> I <need> some chips. <laughs> That's not really great chips, but I'm going to get the better chips when we actually eat some more. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, Thing, I want you to be prepared that we will not be live for two weeks, okay? It's going to be okay. I know you'll make it through. Go back and watch your favorite moments. Show your friends. Be like, look at this crazy, crazy thing that I watch. Um, like I said, I'm going to try and experiment with getting some. He likes it. You know, do you like that? Pretty good. Pretty good. Hmm. It's going to continue to get better, for sure. But you think it's lacking in there? I don't know. No, you can do that. I like 20 minutes under. I love it. Anyway, I thought you speak with my mouth full. No, I'm not. I'm going to say, we'll see you on. April the 8th, live. And then, uh, I don't know what we're going to make. I, I don't even know what I'm going to be doing that Saturday. I'm going to be doing this. More cocktails, please. <laughs> but we love you. Thanks for tuning in. And um, as always, remember to uh, be kind. Be loyal. And do something nice for somebody this week. We love you so much. And we'll see you. On the 8th. Bye-bye.